Hey guys, my name is Ben Nine, and today I'll take you through some of my suggestions for wall fighting. More specifically, I have two suggestions for you today, which is about wall fighting and reachable surfaces up in the air. Okay, so let's get to it. As a start, let me suggest that we reintroduce wall fighting to the game series with a few additions. The wall fighting has worked greatly in Storm 1 and it's really a shame not to use it again. After all, the Naruto series has focused a lot on the fact that ninjas can run on different services, so why not use it in the quest of making the most perfect Naruto game to date? Alright, let's move on. Suggestion number two. In addition to reintroducing wall fighting, I suggest that we also create reachable surfaces higher up in the air, meaning that we'll have more than just a simple wall to run on. This will contribute greatly to the fighting experience and especially large ninja jumps as I will suggest later on in this series. As inspiration, let's have a look on Kisame's ultimate jutsu in Ultimate Ninja Storm 1. Here he's able to use the boundaries of the stages, which I think is pretty cool. I'd wish that we could have similar, if not exactly the same kind of options to use in our matches with different characters as well. Then it will open up to the possibilities of having mid-air combat, as I also would suggest later on in this series, and newer ways of using different techniques with, just as Kisame does here. Other examples of reachable surfaces could be like trees standing in the middle of the map, large walls sticking up in the air, and in general, it could expand to many destructible obstacles. However, I think we should focus on using the regular walls and map boundaries first. Okay, so here are some examples. Just like here, it doesn't have to be complicated and the concept is straightforward. The boundaries of the map could be used as platforms, like walls, that you actually can use for different purposes. Whether it's by avoiding certain attacks or if you need it as a part of your technique performance strategy. To me this subject is very interesting and I would like to see this becoming a part of the Storm series, if not a new game series in this case. So please share your thoughts and opinions on this subject and tell me if you would like to have warfighting back or if you could see things happening in other and perhaps more interesting ways. Remember, I'm considering all suggestions that you write to me for my Storm 4 Suggestions magazine project, so keep the ideas coming. Anyways. Comment, favorite and subscribe if you like this video and stay tuned for part 2 of wall fighting suggestions. My name is Ben Sonline and as always, thanks for watching.